Introduction. This video will explain the basics of legislative history research, specifically focusing on strategies to help prepare you for your spring writing problem. In the video, I will show you a typical approach for researching the legislative history of a law that was passed around the same time as the Family and Medical Leave Act of 1993, which is what you will be researching this semester in legal writing. So now let's take a trip back to 1993, when Kurt was in high school, Guns N' Roses was on their last tour, and a brand new show called The X-Files premiered on the relatively new Fox Broadcasting Network. After years of very low voter turnout in the 70s and 80s, Congress decided it was time to make registering to vote easier. Some states already tied voter registration to driver's license applications, so the idea for a motor voter law requiring this was proposed in the 102nd Congress. President Bush vetoed the law in 1992, concerned it would increase voter fraud. After Bill Clinton was elected in 1992, the law was once again passed and Bill Clinton signed it in 1993. So how would one go about finding legislative history for a 22-year-old law? Will it require using two decade-old dusty books, or will the materials be online? How would you even begin to research legislative history for any law? When researching legislative history, a good first step is almost always to find the relevant code sections. Since we have a popular name, let's go to the popular name table. Hopefully you remember from last semester that popular names don't just have to be the formal titles Congress uses for laws. They can be any name used in common parlance. So let's look up motor voter in the popular name table. Under the letter M, I find the motor voter law. The proper title for the law, the National Voter Registration Act, is cross-referenced. From here, I have a couple options. I can easily access the United States Code sections enacted by this law, which would be advisable if you're researching current law in this area, or I can go back in time to look at the legislative history for this law. All I have to do is go straight to the public law that was passed in 1993. Public Law 103-31, or the National Voter Registration Act of 1993, was introduced in the House as the second bill for that session. From here, I can easily find legislative materials in Westlaw Next by clicking on the Legislative History link. Unfortunately, this is a very long list of documents, but all the way at the bottom is a compiled legislative history. In the PowerPoint you were assigned, you were told that finding such a compilation is always recommended. Clicking on the link, I see a long list of PDFs. While in law school, you'll have access to powerful databases you may not have in practice. One in particular is effective for legislative history. Going to the library's list of databases and looking under the legislative history subject heading allows you to view all of the databases that have legislative history. For your spring problem, you will not need to use all these. Most likely to be of use to you will be the two ProQuest databases and Hein Online. ProQuest has two legislative history databases. Legislative Insight specifically focuses on legislative history information for enacted public laws. Going into the database, you can see many search capabilities. For our purposes here, since we have a public law citation, it would make sense to simply use it and search by citation. I retrieve many hits, but note that it is possible to limit by type. Limiting the results to legislative history yields one result, a compiled legislative history. So, with only a few minutes of work, I have an easy-to-use legislative history of the National Voter Registration Act without having performed hardly any original research of my own. Just from looking at these results, I can tell Congress considered related laws as far back as 1988. However, most important are the committee reports surrounding the legislation that was passed in 1993. There are reports from previous Congresses where the law was proposed but not enacted. While these could be useful for determining legislative intent, I would suggest focusing on documents specifically related to the law that actually was passed in 1993. You may notice a signing statement is cited here. What is a signing statement? You likely will encounter one in your spring writing problem research, so let's discuss them here quickly. Signing statements are made by the president when he signs a bill into law. 
the substance can vary greatly. Typically, the president will use his statement as an opportunity to object to portions of the bill or to guide agencies in the implementation of the law. Generally regarded as part of the law's legislative history, signing statements are not legislative documents. They come from the executive branch. They normally do not hold the same importance as a committee report or a hearing. Challenges specific to legislative history research. The most common problem researchers encounter when researching legislative history is finding nothing. You may be faced with researching a very challenging issue due to some ambiguity in the law. When starting the research, you fully expect to find heated debate in hearings or perhaps the floor, only to find nothing. When this happens, it is likely because Congress did not directly address the issue for some reason. In the event you need to prove it was never addressed, it would be necessary to scour the legislative history for every mention of it. You assuredly will not need to do this for your spring problem. You only need to have a basic understanding of legislative documents and their citations for now. However, you may get stuck with such a task in a summer job or as a first year associate. Summing up, the early 90s were an interesting time. A third party candidate almost won the presidency, a new type of music called grunge became popular, and Saturday Night Live was in a golden age with Dana Carvey, Chris Rock, and Phil Hartman. It was a long time ago, but researching legislative history from that time period is not difficult as long as you understand the citations and know where to look. If you do not understand citations or still struggle with code research, make sure to talk with a librarian before starting your spring problem. A 10-minute discussion with one of us could save you hours.